Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Travis, and this year's already off to a great start. I've made some amazing pin trades, and I wanted to share them with you guys today. So let's get started, and let's check them out. All right, so the first pin that I want to share with you guys, let's see what we got in here. All right, so this is the final pin that I need to complete the Windows of Magic series, and this is the Snow White Window of Magic stained glass pin. Let me show you a close-up of it real quick. So here's a close-up of the Windows of Magic Snow White stained glass pin. So the first thing that I'm going to point out, you guys probably already know, is that I love the backer card. It kind of has like a stained glass kind of effect or like glass that's shattering. So that's pretty cool. And then the pin itself, I think the colors that they use in this pin, they did a really good job, especially the red. It's very vibrant and there's like two tones of red throughout. So it's like a lighter and then a darker red right there. Um, I like the subtle hints in here. So I like the diamonds that are on the bottom. There's seven of them. So that kind of represents, you know, the seven dwarfs. Um, I love how she's holding the apple like right in front of you. So like the poison apple, that's really cool. And I think they did a really good job with her face right here. It's very expressive. So I think they did amazing with that. And then I like the little bird up there too. And also I really like the stained glass effect that this pin has. So it's not like true stained glass where you can see through it if you hold it up to the light, but it has like a stained glass kind of feel. So I think they did a really good job with that. So here's a quick look at the back of the pin. As you can see, there is two pin posts, has a traditional Mickey waffle pattern that goes all the way to the ends, has the Disney copyright 2020, Disney made in China, has the FAC right there. And then this is limited edition of 2000. So I think they really did a good job with this pin. I think they did a great job with both of these pin sets, the Windows of Magic and the Windows of Evil. So I think the artists who created those pins, they did a great job. But like I said, I really like all the small details in this pin, like the little diamonds here that represent the seven doors. And then on the sides, on this like silver part right here, they have like little vines that are kind of crawling up the sides there. And then on the very top, it has a little flower. So little details, I think that's really cool. But what a great start to the new year. I get to add this to my collection and complete the Windows of Magic pin set. Okay, so the next pin that I want to share with you guys, whoops, dropped one, but let's go ahead and get this one open. Okay, so this is a Disney Soda Fountain pin, and this is another one of those Christmas caroling pins. And this one is of Aurora and Prince Philip. But let me go ahead and take it out of the plastic and show you a close-up of it real quick. So here's a close-up of the Disney Soda Fountain Aurora and Prince Philip Christmas caroling pins. So as you can see, this is a Christmas theme pin, and right here it says Christmas Carol. So she's like holding a book. Maybe they're singing together, but you have Aurora right there and Prince Philip. And then you have the three fairies on top. And then you have like these little woodland creatures um, right there. I'm not really sure if they have names. If they do, leave me a comment down below because I do not remember them. But I really like the sparkling embellishments they have here in the trees. And I think that the faces on Philip and Aurora, I think, I think they did a pretty good job. The faces on the fairies are a little kind of wonky. But like I said before, it's kind of hard to get the fine details when their faces are really small. I really like all the colors that they use with this pen. It's very Christmas themed. And you really don't see Aurora too much in like her Christmas dress right there. Kind of like how you don't see Belle that much in her Christmas dress with pins. So I think that's really cool. Um, let me go ahead and take it off the backer card real quick and show you the back. So I also wanted to show you guys a side view of this pin. And as you can see, this is the main pin right here. And then where the rabbit and the squirrel are, this is like a pin on top of the pin. So this pin has like a pin on pin element. So here's a look at the back of the pin. And as you guys know, the Disney soda fountain pins have these little ice cream scoops right there. So that's how you know it's a Disney soda fountain pin. It says Disney Studio Store Hollywood. There is two pin posts. And on the right hand side, it has the FAC. And I don't know if you guys can see what the last four numbers are 14301. So like I said, with Disney Soda Fountain pins, you always want to match up the card. So here's the card. And as you can see on the top, the last four numbers are 14301. So you know that that is authentic. And then on the bottom of the pen, it says limited edition of 400 has a Disney copyright China. So Stacy and I do collect princess pins, but um, Aurora isn't one of our main princesses that we collect. So I think this one's probably gonna go into our trader books. But overall, I think it's a really nice pin. Um, it's a jumbo pin, and I think it'll make a great trader. All right, so next up, let's see what we have in this package. All right, so this is a pin from Paris, and this is a Star Wars pin. And this is from the 40th anniversary, and this is a hinge pin. So let me go ahead and open up the hinge for you and show you a close-up of this pin real quick. So here's a close-up of the Star Wars Disneyland Paris limited edition pin. On the top, as you can see, it says Star Wars, and on the bottom, it says uh, limited edition of 700. So this is a hinged pin, so I'm gonna open it up for you real quick, but on the outside, it has like a silver tone finish with some black etching, and it's, there's the 40 right there, and then it says Star Wars. But let me go ahead and open up the hinge for you real quick. So here's a close-up of the Star Wars 40th anniversary for a new 
Hope pin. So as you can see, they have like the New Hope kind of poster graphic right there with Luke Skywalker, Leia, Vader in the background. Then you got the Death Star. So I think that's really cool. And then on this side, on the inside of the hinge, it's just like a silver tone finish. So there's no etching or anything there. But let me go ahead and take it off the backer card real quick and show you the back. So here's a close up of the back of the pin. And as you can see, there's one pin post that has one nub, has the traditional Mickey waffle pattern that goes all the way to the end, has a Disney copyright, so Star Wars right there and made in China, and then it says Disneyland Paris. And one thing that's really cool about um, limited edition pins from Disneyland Paris is when they say they're out of 700 or whatever the edition is out of, they have the number of what the pin is. So this one that I'm looking now, this is number one of 700, so that's really cool. I'm pretty pumped about that. But um, you know, they'll have whatever number you know that pin is so if it's 20 of 700 or you know 100 of 800 it will tell you which number that pin is so i think that's really cool that disneyland paris pins do that um, over here like at walt disney world if it's limited edition of 2000 you don't know which one of that 2000 it is so i like that little touch it's almost kind of like how fig pin does it they give you fig pins a little bit more involved um, you know, they have like the actual run, the addition, and all sorts of other things. But I really like how they have that. It kind of adds maybe a little bit more collectability. You know, if somebody wanted, hey, I want number one of that pin. So, you know, I don't know. I think that's really cool. But this one, like I said, is number one of 700. So I really like this pin. I think it's neat that this is number one of the addition of 700. So I think that's a really, you know, special feature for this pin. I like how it's hinged, how it kind of opens up like this. So I think that's a nice little, you know, touch right there. Um, I do collect Star Wars pins. Um, I usually collect like lightsabers and different things like that. So I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna collect this pin, but it's a low limited edition. It's limited edition of 700. So I think I'll make a great trader. So this is probably gonna go into my trader books. All right, so the next pin that I wanna share with you guys, let's go ahead and open up this package real quick. All right, so this pen has been released recently, um, and this is a jumbo pen, and it's for the 10th anniversary of Tangled, which is one of my favorite movies. If you guys don't know, Tangled is the only movie of any movie ever, not just Disney movies, that I've watched two times in one day. So it's an amazing movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. But this is the jumbo 10th anniversary pin that just came out. So let me go ahead and take it out of the box and show you a close up of it real quick. So here's a close up of the 10th anniversary Tangled jumbo pin. So let's talk about the box a little bit. So the outside of the box, it's okay. I wish they would have done a little bit more details, but I like the little birds up there and how it says Tangled 10th anniversary. So I do like that and I do like the colors that they used. But let me go ahead and take the top of the box off for you. So here's a close up of the Tangled 10th anniversary jumbo pin. So the backer card right off the bat, I really like. I like how it has like those floating lanterns. I think that's amazing. And then the pin itself is a jumbo pin. I would say it's about three inches tall. And you have Flynn Rider here. Then you have Rapunzel kind of gazing out, looking at the lanterns. And then you have the lanterns in the background there. So I think the pin looks nice. I really wish the faces on Rapunzel and Flynn were a little bit better. I think they're a little bit better on Flynn, but Rapunzel's face kind of looks a little more rounded. So I'm not like super excited about that. I think they did an okay job. They could have done a little bit better, especially because, you know, this is a jumbo pin. So they have the space to kind of get the faces right. Um, but I do like the colors that they used. I like the two tones of purple that they use for Rapunzel's dress. I think that's spot on. And in the background right here, it's kind of like an emerald color. It's like an emerald green. It's kind of hard to see through the camera but um, there's like a little bit of sparkle there but I think they could have done a little bit more sparkling embellishments there I think that would have kind of enhanced the pin a little bit but overall I think it's a really nice pin but let me go ahead and take it off their backer card and show you the back real quick so here's a quick look at the back of the pin as you can see it has the Mickey waffle pattern goes all the way to the ends got the two pin post on the left hand side it says Disney pin trading 2020 got the Disney copyright it says Tangle 10th anniversary and this is a limited edition of a thousand and then on the very bottom it has the FAC. So I think overall they did a good job with this pin set. I mean, I really do like the box that it came in and the backer card how it has those floating lanterns. So I really do like that. And then I've told you guys before, when it comes to like the anniversary pins, I don't really care for when the anniversary number is on the front of the pin. Like this is the 10th anniversary. So I'm really happy that they, that they didn't put like 10, you know, on the front of the pin. It's on the back of the pin, which is something that I prefer. Um, I just wish the faces were a little bit better. I'm a stickler for the faces, so it's like, I want the faces to look really good like they really do, like in the movies. And you know, a lot of times when you see the picture on the flyer for when the pins are gonna get released, sometimes, you know, the drawing or the artwork looks a little bit better on the picture than how it translates to the actual pin. Overall, I think it's an awesome pin and I'm happy to have it and put it in my collection. All right, so the last pin that I'm gonna share with you guys, let me go ahead and open up this package for you. So this is actually a pin set and it comes in this box right here. 
but this is the Disney Princess Fantasy Fair pin set, and this is from Disneyland, and this is the Royal pin set. And it's in like this box, and when you open it up, it has all the pins right there. So I think that's really cool, but let me go ahead and show you a close-up of this real quick. So here's a close-up of the front of the Disney Princess Fantasy Fair from Disneyland, the Royal pin set. So I think the box is really elegant, it looks really nice. I like the uh, pink color that they use and how it has this like gold foil right here. So I think that's really nice and then they also carry that over to the top with that crown. But let me go ahead and open this up for you. But on the inside, on the left hand side, it says Princess Fantasy Fair, Once Upon a Time. That has the Disneyland castle right there. Still haven't been to Disneyland yet, but one of these days I'm gonna get over there. And then on the right hand side, you have the different princesses. So you have Belle right here. And she has the flower, and then it has her signature right there. Then you have Jasmine here. I'm kind of surprised if Belle's holding a rose, why she isn't holding a lamp, but okay, that's fine. And then you have Cinderella right here with her signature. And then you have Aurora right there. Then you have Mulan. Leave me a comment down below, guys. Have you seen the new Mulan movie? I want to hear what you guys thought about it. Me? I thought it was amazing. And then you have Snow White right here. But let me go ahead and take one of these pins off of the backer card and show you the back of the pin real quick. So here's a close up of the back of one of the pins out of that set. This is the Jasmine pin, but it has the old school gold finish on the background. It has a Disney pin trading logo from 2008. And then on the bottom, it has two pin posts. And then on the back of the box, it says Disney Princess Fantasy Fair Disneyland Resort. And then it has the pin trading logo 2008. And then if you bought this, when it came out, it was $44.95. So I think they did a really good job with this pin set. I think Stacey's gonna laugh at this. It's like, I'm, it's like I'm opening the book and I'm about to read it to kids. Like, oh, and then they lived happily ever after. Like I'm holding it and I'm showing them the pictures. So that's pretty funny. But like I said, I think that they did a really good job with this pin set. I like how they have all the princesses there and then they have like their signatures right there. So this is definitely something that I think will probably be going into my collection. I might trade it. I'm not really sure because I don't collect all the princesses that are here, so I might, you know, trade out the princesses that I don't want. But then the collector side of me is like, I, if I'm gonna trade it, I need to trade it complete because that's how I would want something. I wouldn't want something that was missing, you know, some of the princesses. So, not really sure what I'm gonna do with it. All right, guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for today's pin mail video. So I would say, you know, for the beginning of the year, I think we're off to a great start with pin trades. Got some really awesome pin trades in this mail haul. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know which pin was your favorite out of this haul. Um, if I had to pick, I would probably choose the Tangle 10th anniversary pin. I think it's a really pretty pin. I just wish the faces were a little bit better, but I'll deal with it. But thank you again so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please go to thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you next time. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.